Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Have you forgotten your iPhone passcode and now you can't even reset it because you cannot recall your Apple ID and password either? In this video, I will show you two different ways to unlock your iPhone, even if you've forgotten all your necessary credentials. Let's go. When you've forgotten your device passcode, resetting your iPhone to its factory defaults is usually an easy solution. But if you can no longer unlock your device completely, the only way to reset it is to connect it to your computer. If you're on Windows, you'll need to use iTunes. In case you don't have it installed yet, I recommend downloading it directly from the Microsoft Store. For Mac users, you can easily restore your iPhone using the pre-installed Finder application. Once you have either app open on your computer, put your iPhone in recovery mode. Whether you are experiencing glitches with your iPhone, such as it being stuck in Apple logo, white screen, recovery mode, or other issues, entering recovery mode gives you the opportunity to resolve the problem so you can regain access to your device. To get started, connect your iPhone to your computer before entering recovery mode. Make sure to use an original or MFI certified cable to ensure a successful connection between the two devices. Once you've successfully connected to your computer, either open iTunes if you're on Windows, or just use the pre-installed Finder application on your Mac. Also, see to it that both apps are updated to the latest version. To put your device into recovery mode, please take note that the combination keys are different for each iPhone model. For iPhone 8 or newer models, including iPhone SE second generation, follow these steps. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then hold press the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus models. Press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons and release them when the recovery mode screen appears. With iPhone 6S or earlier models, including iPhone SE first generation, press and hold both the home and top or side buttons at the same time. Keep holding them until the recovery mode screen is displayed. After you put your device on the recovery mode screen, click the Restore iPhone button in the iTunes or Finder. Keep in mind that this process will completely wipe your device and you will need to set it up again. After the reset, you should be able to easily restore your data on your iPhone, as long as you backed it up to your computer or iCloud account before restoring. Sometimes, restoring your device in iTunes or Finder may be ineffective and may not fix the problem on your iPhone. If this happens, you can try using a third-party application. Forget complicated passcode resets, a third-party unlocker tool makes it easy. There are many programs available right now, but personally, I prefer using this particular tool because it can rapidly remove passcode type, including four-digit, six-digit, custom numeric, alphanumeric combinations, touch ID, and face ID. Want to give it a try? Well, you can use my link below to directly download the software and get an exclusive free trial on your first use. After you install the program, connect your device to your computer using an original or an MFI certified cable. From the dashboard, you'll want to use the Unlock iOS screen feature. Click Start, and the software should automatically detect your device. Next, download the firmware package. Along with removing your passcode, the software also updates your device to the latest compatible iOS version. Just make sure your computer has at least 7 gigabytes of free space to download it successfully. Once the download is complete, the program will automatically start removing your passcode. This may take several minutes, so keep your device connected during the process. After successfully removing the iPhone passcode, you can set up your iPhone as a new device. This includes setting up a new passcode, Touch ID, and Face ID settings. If you have a previous iTunes or iCloud backup, you can also restore your device. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up 
and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.